Queer people get the blame for a lot of things, like earthquakes and COVID, throughout our society. general terrorism, Brexit, the financial crisis, how important it is for our economy. the fall of Rome, bad grades, mass shootings, trans people have caused floods by using the bathroom, and they're also responsible for Rachel Dolezal. Gender, and they will inject them with hormones around puberty time to prevent puberty. But the most prominent and recurring belief is that gay marriage caused hurricanes. The entire well, world, but you you when we say that gay marriage can be whatever you want it to be, that are we are free to be So, what is weather exactly? And has homosexuality influenced it in any way? Let's talk about it. I'm Rob Anderson, and this is Gay Science. In each episode, we'll explore a different branch of science to discover what's gay and what's gayer. Remember to subscribe, it's homophobic not to. In today's gay science, did gay marriage cause the hurricanes? To discover if same-sex unions affect the weather. <laughs> Sorry. We should understand the different ways our atmosphere can behave. So first, let's define queer weather systems. These are intense LGBTQ plus situations, and they come in many forms. A bi-blizzard occurs when an event draws a significant increase in bisexual attendance, like a Kehlani concert, or a live stream for a gamer boy with ADHD, or anywhere where people have nice hands. You'll know it's a bi-blizzard because you can hear the sounds of keychains jangling since bisexuals carry at least two dozen things on them. A gay cyclone occurs when a group of gay friends enter your space and all of them look identical. A lesbian lesbian squall is a sudden sharp increase in lesbian energy as a result of a lesbian love triangle. Virginia Woolf had one of the most powerful storms in history, as did Queen Anne. But none can compare to the squall between Velma, Jessica Rabbit, and Ms. Frizzle. A trans tornado occurred when RuPaul's Drag Race Season 14 finished casting. A gay flood is initiated once a location has been made officially gay on social media. And the largest of queer weather systems, the gay hurricane. These are not just one, but a collection of trends that occur when gays weasel their way into society. Let's take a look at the historical progress of same-sex unions and how they align with gay hurricanes. Mesopotamia had one of the first records of gay marriage in 1770 BC, recognized by the Almanac of Incantations. Around this time, there was a Category 1 gay hurricane, as evidence by better mood lighting, an introduction of enemas, and prescription drugs. In 100 AD China, during the Han Dynasty, almost all emperors were in same-sex unions. We also saw a Category yes. 2 gay hurricane, with an increase in silk robes and handheld fans. In 2001, Queen Beatrix signed the law to make the Netherlands the first country in the world to legalize same-sex marriage. A Category 3 gay hurricane also hit the world that year, as we saw more movies with strong female characters. In 2004, Massachusetts became the first U.S. state to legalize same-sex marriage. Immediately after, a Category 4 gay hurricane hurricane hit, with more pride parades and the first season of The L Word. In 2015, the U.S. Supreme Court struck down all state bans on same-sex marriage. And the entire country experienced the largest Category 5 gay hurricane. Apps had mountains of headless couple torso pics. Carly Rae Jepsen released her third album, and then Your Dad went on prep, probably. It looks like the progress of gay unions have a strong correlation to gay hurricanes. But what about the other hurricanes that cause destruction and stuff? Let's look back at a few things in history and see where the hurricanes fall. In 1969, police raids on gay bars were at an all-time high, and one month after Stonewall, we saw a Category 5 hurricane, Camille. In 1992, both Colorado and Oregon introduced ballot measures removing LGBT Bye, protections. Man. Then we had Hurricane Andrew, another Category 5. In 2005, Texas had a $2,000 bounty for turning in transgender students found in bathrooms. Shortly after, Katrina hit. In 2012, North Carolina banned same-sex marriage, immediately followed by Hurricane Sandy. Then in 2017, Arkansas prohibited gender changes on a birth certificate. A few months later, Hurricane Harvey. But we wouldn't go as far as saying a greater power is punishing hateful ideas with forces of nature because it would be very unscience-like for us. Sometimes things are just a coincidence, like when the author of Florida's Don't Say Gay Bill had his home struck by a tornado one week after the bill passed. It's all just a coincidence. Surely.